What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be covering the SoFi stock. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be an extremely bullish video. So don't get too overwhelmed because it's going to be absolutely insane. Do me a favor for the YouTube algorithm. Be sure to smash the like button, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're going to be keeping you updated daily on all the breaking news with the SoFi stock. Guys, right now, the SoFi stock is exceeding my expectations on what I thought was going to happen this week because we have the absolutely insane amount of call options that are set to expire Friday. And the SoFi stock is just running through that. The market makers can't control this bad boy. I've seen the shorts try to make some moves, shorting the stock at certain levels. Nothing's working right now, guys. The volume is just overpowering everything, and we are just breaking new levels You know, every single day. The SoFi stock has literally been green for six straight days. I haven't seen this in multiple quarters. So, guys, we are getting very, very excited for these potential rate cuts. I understand the market is anticipating these rate cuts very soon. But, guys, just because we get a rate cut, that is not going to be the end of the good news. We could be getting rate cuts for the next 18 months is what I'm expecting. Remember Anthony Noto, you know, like six months ago, eight months ago, he was expecting like four to six rate cuts going off of what the Fed said. And then he had to make the adjustment and drop it down to one rate cut, you know, making a pivotal move that's really going to help the SoFi stock, you know, not have crazy, you know, default rates and, you know, overwhelming lending for the consumer. So guys, we're looking extremely bullish here. We've got some great information for you. We're going to be checking out, you know, the stock, you know, Things I'm going to look for in earnings, a lot of great news. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, yesterday I said I wanted to film closer to the end of the day so we didn't get that exact same thing, you know, where we got those, you know, so five, four or 5% pumps and just a complete dump to break even. I mean, guys, we got that like 10, 20 times this year, just nonstop pumping dumps. But I'm just getting a little bit too excited. So I'm filming this video a little bit uh, earlier than yesterday. Yesterday was like 3.30. Today I'm at like 2.30. So we still got like an hour and a half until the close and i'm just very confident that we're not going you know red today so i'm gonna drop this video we are up 5.6 percent on the day right now guys the sofi stock is just moving volume is not that crazy i mean take a look at the volume it's 43 million average volume 38 the volume is not that crazy this could be a little bit of short covering right here i mean this thing is ripping up yesterday we finished like what three four percent Today, we're moving up even faster. Now, take a look at the indexes, guys. This is just, you know, what's been saving us these past couple of days on all these green days. S&P 500, 0.41. Decent. Dow, actually, you know, legacy companies doing pretty good, 1.66. Look at the NASDAQ, guys. That's super tech heavy. It's doing nothing, you know, 0.05. Russell 2000, holy crap. 2.87% on the day. This thing has been ripping, but understand, you know, the Russell, you know, like all time highs, I believe is like 2,600. So this thing can still move up an additional 20% from here. I mean, I'm expecting the Russell 2000 to be ripping for the next 12 months. I don't think it's going to do what the NASDAQ did, you know, two, three years of ripping. But hey, this thing could literally bounce hard for a year. And we've been getting that, you know, for the past week. And let's get it a couple more months. And then you're going to see some small caps like a SoFi really start to rip. Now, understand, guys. There's a lot of other good small cap names out there, you know, that are profitable. You can look for uh, some companies just aren't having that superior growth in this higher interest rate environment like a SoFi. But we had companies that were profitable like a lending club. They their growth just stalled to nothing. You also had Upstart that was profitable in lower rates as well. And they're, you know, they went unprofitable. So a lot of companies shift the profitability very, very fast with these lower rates. And SoFi, I believe, is going to start printing money, guys, for the next year or so. I mean, 2025, I'm, thinking, I'm expecting like 500 to 600 million in profits. That's what I'm expecting, okay? I think they're going to blow out these analysts' guidance. So expect this year, once again, of course, 2024, I think they're going to increase net income profitability two to three more times. So don't think we're just going to finalize where we're at right now with that 175 million. I think we're going a lot higher potentially to the two to $250 million range. All right, guys, and this is what I was putting out the past two to three weeks. I noticed these calls were crazy. 297,000 on the calls for this Friday. I said it's going to feel so good when we get past these uh, calls. I think we're going to get a parabolic move in the next one to two weeks heading into earnings. So this is the July 19th. Now look at this number. It was 297,000 
literally yesterday. Now take a look at what these calls are at. So look, guys, this is the 19th, the 297,000. Hey, we're up to 316,000 on the calls. People are getting a little bit excited playing the short dated calls for this week. Guys, these are for this Friday. So they just went up an additional 20,000. And if SoFi keeps moving up like this, I mean, these calls are going to jump to like 350,000. I mean, they're going to have to pull the plug eventually. I mean, this stock, I don't think it's going over like 850 this week, but I think they're going to pull out all the stops potentially around that $8 level either tomorrow or Thursday. I mean, they have to because the money makers they're going to be paying out a lot of big money because these calls are, you know, starting to look really good. But understand, once we clear up these calls, I'm looking at the next, you know, 6 weeks besides the little 150 right here, it's a little high, but look, guys, 57,000, 77,000, 18,000, 7,000, 4,000. I mean, we're looking green light for the next 6 weeks, and that's after our earnings as well, guys. I think this stock could make a huge huge move. I'm going to give you guys a price target that I think the SoFi stock can hit 2024. That's going to be, you know, basically the last day of the year. Just call it New Year's. I'm going to give you a price target in a couple of minutes of what I think this stock can hit. I mean, we are literally ripping right now. And I think this is not going to slow down at any time because we got rate cuts coming in the back half of the year. Look at the SoFi stock right now. We are still ripping higher as I'm filming this video. 2.44 p.m., guys. This is that level we were at last night, about 742 right here. See that? Just all overnight, pre-market in the morning, just clipping that level, and then we broke it. They tried to short us a little bit in the morning, and then, guys, boom, the stock just absolutely took off. But I'm telling you right now, this stock is shorted out of this world. For anybody new to the channel, we're talking 18% short. It's 187 million outstanding shares short right now, guys. I mean, it's absolutely insane the level of, you know, short on this stock i mean people just are not bullish at all on you know digital banks fintechs lending any of that because of the macro i get it but guys macro is going to shift to a lower interest rate environment and you're going to see some of that you know m a activity come back alive that's exactly what the uh, ceo of sofi really wants to see you're going to see more companies going public so take a look guys right now this is the last update june 28th 187 million outstanding shares short uh average daily volume of short 28 million guys this is crazy look at it it's literally up for the last quarter, okay? The last two to three months. It's at a higher level than it was back in April. So they just don't stop short in this stock. And there's going to come a day where they're either going to get squeezed or they are going to have to cover their shorts, okay? One of the other. And right now you can see it's just a mixture of both, in my opinion. They're probably covering a little, but they're still getting squeezed a little bit. But hey, don't be surprised if you just see a random day, not even talking the earnings call, where SoFi pulls a little upstart type of move and makes a little 10% move, okay? Just watch that happen. I'm telling you right now, it is going to happen very, very soon. It might happen after earnings, you know, after the earnings, you know, play out, you know, week to week. I think the stock's going to just start making these weird 10% moves because of this type of shorting. It's absolutely insane. Now, guys, what you're looking at right here is the last 11 earnings reports that SoFi has done. That is literally a long time. I understand the SoFi investors have felt the pain, but right now I can guarantee you, I can promise you that the SoFi stock is fully disconnected from the SoFi you know, performance inside of the company. These two are disconnected entirely. If you look at this below, these are 11 earnings reports in a row, okay? And you can see the green right here means a beat, okay? And you can see right here, you got about nine beats. And then the two right here are just, you know, break even. So they're still beats. They they hit the earnings. So 11 for 11 earnings beats, okay? So you know right now, SoFi is not messing around. They made some soft guidance in Q2. They're coming for the 12 for 12, okay? They are going to be. And then on top of that, the only difference you have between these 11 earnings and this upcoming earnings is you got a potential rate cut literally one to two months later for the first time in three years that's the big difference and you're going to see the loan book you know become more valuable and you're going to see lending accelerate because they can refinance more loans go after you know bigger markets mortgages student loans um the list just goes on okay HELOCs. i mean i'm telling you right now sofi is just waiting for the guarantee rate cut and you're going to see lending accelerate and sofi's overall revenue is going to continue to grow even faster so look at this guys this is six days straight of sofi stock every day green okay the 9th the 10th 11th 12th the new week 15 16 let's see if we can go nine for nine let's see if we can get a wednesday thursday friday and go nine for nine green days in a row i'm telling you this stock's gonna be over eight dollars 
literally that quickly, okay? Literally in a week going from six to eight, okay? I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna give you a price target, five month price target, New Year's, January 1st. I think it's gonna be a $14 stock. I'm telling you right now, this stock should be trading at six times sales. I just looked at all the legacy bank price to sales going off the revenue. They're all trading at three. Some of them are over three, okay? So right now, I'm telling you, they are growing faster than all of these legacy banks. They are growing deposits faster than all these legacy banks. They're growing checking accounts faster than all these legacy banks. The list just doesn't stop. So if I was going to start printing money very soon, if you made it to the video, I want to say I really do appreciate it. I enjoyed doing this video for you guys. I'm really excited. We're still in the market open right now. If you find any of this information useful, be sure to smash the like button, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be keeping you updated daily. I'm telling you right now, there's going to be a big market shift into these small cap names. You want to go with the profitable ones and you want to go with the ones with the great management. That's what we got with CEO Anthony Noto. Have a great day.